Welcome to another week of What's for Dinner. My name is Andrea, and in my household, there's me, my husband, and our handsome little boy. On our channel, I make simple meals using convenient pantry and freezer staples. Hey guys, it's Father's Day, and Howard wanted to try out a new Chinese restaurant for Father's Day. So this is his plate, and he got, um, we can't remember the name of it, but it's Bien noodles. Bien noodles, uh, we think. And it comes with a protein, and he has chicken, and then there is some bok choy on the side. And then we've got some barbecue pork bao, and then some fried rice. I got this spicy chicken dish, and it's so pretty. You see that cone that it comes in? And then he also got some soup dumplings. And then we've got some vegetable egg rolls. And then I've already eaten my hot and sour soup. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tomorrow, I am going to be grilling these baby back ribs, a little over three pounds here. I had these ribs in my freezer and I had the seasoning in my pantry. It is by McCormick, uh, Memphis Pit Barbecue Slow and low rub. I actually have had Memphis ribs before and they tend to use dry seasonings and um, on their ribs and they actually usually look like this picture. But um, you're supposed to use um, the seasoning on four pounds of ribs. Mine is only three pounds, so I'm gonna use 75% of the seasoning and there is a lot of this seasoning in the bowl, probably like a half a cup. So anyway, I'm gonna season it up on both sides and pop it in the fridge and let it marinate overnight and then grill these baby back ribs tomorrow. Okay, so here is everything all plated up. Here are the ribs. I ended up cooking them for about three hours over indirect heat on the charcoal grill, serving it with a side of potato salad. I do have a video on how I made this potato salad that I will link in the description box. Also got some baked beans on the side as well, and I did record a video, it's been a while ago, on how to make baked beans, and I will link that in the description box as well. For the barbecue sauce, we are trying out this Kinder's um, Honey Hot Barbecue Sauce for the first time, and it is pretty good. It's not too spicy, but it has a little kick to it. But this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Okay, so for dinner tonight, we are having this Trader Joe's linguine with pesto and tomatoes. I'd like to keep stuff like this in my freezer for nights when I just don't feel like cooking. So it's a really quick skillet meal. It's done in 10 minutes and it is very tasty. The tomatoes usually are um, halved, just like on the picture, but my husband's not a big fan of the tomato halves like that. so. I just used kitchen shears once the dish was almost done and just chopped them up so they're smaller pieces. Serving it with a side salad, um, I added some shaved Parmesan, some crushed um, croutons, and then for the dressing, I am using this um, great value knockoff of the Olive Garden salad dressing, and we like it. I got it on my most recent um, Walmart haul. So I'll link that in the description box in case you want to check out what else I bought. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, so for dinner tonight we are having Costco pizza. I had to run in for three items and I just decided to grab some pizza from the food court. I was going to get a whole pizza but since we're trying to eat a little bit better I thought slices would be better. So for Howard and I, I got us both a um, slice of pepperoni pizza, and then for Harrison, I got him a slice of cheese pizza. Of course, he can't eat this whole thing, so we're probably gonna cut it into several different little pieces for him to eat over the next couple of days. But anyway, this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. Hey guys, for dinner tonight, we are having fajitas. I had everything all on hand already. We are having these uh, beef fajitas that I got from HEB. I had them in my freezer and I took them out to thaw. I also had some boneless, skinless chicken thighs in my freezer as well, thawed them out. 
and I seasoned them with this Hatch Green Chili Seasoning that I got from Kroger on clearance a while back ago. It was only like $2.31 and it's a large container of seasoning and it smells delicious. I've got some fajita vegetables. I had a yellow bell pepper, a red bell pepper, and one onion. I just sliced them up and put them in this pan with a little bit of grape seed oil, grape seed oil and then I seasoned them with this Saison Tropical. And then I am going to cook everything on a charcoal grill and I'm gonna be using my barbecue frying pan that I picked up from Aldi um, a while back ago. It's a large frying pan, does it say how big it is? I don't know, it has to be at least 12 inches. But um, after I cook the meat, I'm gonna throw the fajita vegetables in this frying pan and try it out for the very first time. I've been wanting some grilled vegetables for the longest time and I wanna try it out. I got this on um, special at Aldi. I guess it's been a month or so ago. It was pretty inexpensive, so tried it out and I'll let you guys know how it all turns out. Okay, so I've got dinner all plated up. I showed you all what we were having, the spread. That chicken is so good. That seasoning is delish. Howard and I both like it. I also made some um, easy Mexican rice on the side, and I used this Nor red rice seasoning, and it is very good, so simple. I just follow the instructions on the packet, and then we're having some Mexican corn. This is my plate. I'm gonna add some salsa once I get to the table, but I've got the um, beef in there, and then I have just a little bit of chicken on the side. And then this is Howard's plate, and he has chicken. He has a chicken fajita and a beef fajita, those grilled vegetables. They turned out really well. See the grilled vegetables? They are really good too. And then we're eating butter tortillas from H-E-B. Oh, and for dessert, um, you guys saw that uh, I made some peach dumplings, and I do have a video on our channel showing how I make peach dumplings. They're so easy, you just use crescent rolls in there. Delish. So this is what we are having for dinner tonight, and we will see y'all next time. <music>